Hi guys, Tekka536 here, another video for you today. Um, okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to, well, top five ways of improving laptop gaming performance. Okay, so let's head straight into it. So first of all, you're going to, I say this every time I make a video like this, update your drivers. It's the simplest thing to do and it's just the most necessary because drivers run the mu all GPU and CPU manufacturers are trying to improve their performance on the, the performance on every single one of their CPUs and GPUs. So chances there is a driver out there. Um, so a, new, a driver update out there if you haven't updated in a while. So go ahead, um, look for your driver update. The way I do it um, on this computer, though, if you've got an Nvidia or a, um, Nvidia or ATI, you are going to want to go to you're going to go want to go into their software suite for the GPUs um, but generally if you just want to update your CPU driver then go device manage just type in device and go device manager and it'll come up with this um, and then you want to go down to processes if you want to update your if you want to update your th um, CPU and then go down to driver update driver, search automatically for update driver because um, it'll have an automatic website which it looks for searching online for software as you can see it takes a little while but um, and then it says the best driver software for your device is already installed alternatively you can go go details, this is what I like to do because it's more accurate um, and look at your driver version then go onto the internet type in your driver your driver name, your um, sorry, your CPU name, um, and see if it's got a new update on the on, like, for Intel. See if it's got a new update on the Intel website, and see if it's the latest driver. Latest driver is matching the same one as yours. If not, go ahead and download it, um, and it helps a lot. So it's definitely worth doing this, guys. Okay guys, so as promised on Twitter, I am going to follow the gaming laptop theme. So if you want to post your opinion on what I should do next, then go um, follow me on Twitter. It's annotation and link in the description. So, um, the next thing you want to go and do is go ahead and go and overclock your GPU. Um, so you can't overclock, generally you can't overclock your CPU, but you can overclock your GPU mostly. Gaming laptops do um, allow for overclocking GPU. So as you can see on the screen now, this is an AMD GPU. It's not mine, but it's a screenshot of it. And you just want to change the clock speeds and the memory clock speeds, and that is what will give you the big boost. Um, so as you can see there, between the memory clock and the GPU clock settings, and that will give you the big boost which you want, guys. Okay, guys. So the next thing you want to go and do is go on to the actual game. So if you're if you are gaming and experiencing problems, what you really want to go and do is turn down the shader and the shadow and texture settings because these eat up video RAM like anything. They're so bad because they just um, so you, your GPU will run so much slower, and that is what gaming consists of really. The better the GPU, the faster the game runs. So if you turn these down, it means you lose a bit of quality, but you the the um, game, the gaming performance increases so much, and at the end of the day, um, it's not that bad. Another way of doing this is to just reduce the resolution of the game. A lower resolution game, quickest way to improve gaming performance. But do this, turn these settings down first, because um, they don't sacrifice as much quality of the game. Okay, guys. So the next thing you want to go and do is go down to this battery option, battery um, icon here. Click on more power options. Click on change plan settings. Click on change to advanced power settings, and then go down to processor power management. Click that little plus button, and it'll come up with these three options: um, minimum processor state. So that's um, how little you can have when how little how the smallest amount um, of CPU the computer can use when it's plugged in. So obviously you want that one hundred percent. So um, it's always so it has to be using all the CPU, all of the CPU, um, or if it's multiple core, then all of the CPUs. Um, then you want to go system cooling policy. This will keep your CPU cool um, and computer cool so that it's 
more because um, computers obviously run best about 30, 40, 50 degrees so you want to keep it cool so it doesn't overheat as well. Um, check my other video hit now for a link on the screen to how to stop um, your laptop overheating or how to keep it super cool. And then maximum process state on battery 100% obviously you want it 100% so that um, it doesn't throttle your CPU and then if you change anything just click apply and OK. okay. Okay guys, the final thing you want to go and do is shut down background applications. Um, this may just save you some vital um, vital gaming performance. So if you look down here, you see these are all the programs that are open now. Um, oh, no, didn't want that. Okay, and then go to Task Manager. That's how you change it. Um, and then you've got all these open. Here, and you've got all of these open so then you're going to want to go to you want to close any of these any background processes which you believe aren't just be careful though because sometimes they can mess up your computer just go ahead slowly if you only close the ones which you know are definitely not um, important for your computer usually these background processes processes aren't useful it's just the um, so don't close any of the window processes because that will just basically muck up your computer until you restart then you can look at all your stuff in performance um, to see whether you're getting better performance and whether it's um, whether it's becoming better um, how much memory you're using etc and then you want to go to startup and this is important and this will you just want to delete as much stuff and disable as much stuff as you can on here by going right click um, and going disable and that will just speed up your computer from startup um, start and I had a I had a minute startup time disabled all of these because all of, pretty much all of these were ena enabled um, and I got down got it down to 15 seconds startup time from cold um, so it and also if they go if it's low um, if it says startup impact is low medium then you want to you want to turn them off, um, and if it's none, then you may as well turn them off as well, unless the, unless you use them a lot. If you use them a lot, and you want to start get them started up before your um, before well, if you want to get them started up, and turn the computer on, then leave them on, leave them enabled. Um, once again, don't turn anything off which you think is important, but usually you won't be able to turn. Usually they don't give you access to changing important stuff in here so thanks for watching guys please like comment and subscribe um, if you have any questions yeah just leave them in the comment section below hit that subscribe button hit that like button thanks for watching guys see you in the next video